lot of amateurs use kites to support their antennas. I've shied away from them, preferring a more dependable but heavier squid pole. However, Audi had kites for $6 each, too cheap to give them a miss. There was a variety of kites from which to choose. This is a Delta kite, 140cm by 75cm, and this one here is a box kite, 33 by 33 by 92 centimeter. They come with 35 meters of string, and if I'm successful, I'll try and hook a wire up to it as well. It's too blurry. The instructions say the kites need a maximum of three to five on a Beaufort scale, and it's definitely more than that now. So I'll either try it on another day or fly from a calmer location. Now at the footy oval where it's much calmer and hopefully a better place to give these kites a go. Well, that's the easiest kite I've ever flown. I spoke too soon, didn't I? Also the instructions mention that it's better to have two people to fly the kite, but if you're operating portable alone, then you might not have that facility. Maybe if you tied one end of the string to a fence and launched the kite, you might be able to do it single-handedly. There's the kite flying itself. It was spectacular while it lasted, but not really something good for dependable communications. So let's try the box kite. Assembly is pretty simple, just putting in the four spaces, two on each end. The wind seems to have become a bit more stable, and so has the kite. The next step is to see if this thing can lift an antenna wire. Got no idea where you should feed the antenna wire, so I'll try the corner of the kite, the same place that the string is connected to. Playing with these kites has been heaps of fun, and for $6 it's probably amongst the best value for money toy that you could buy a child. But as far as supporting an antenna goes, unless you've got someone to look after the kite, then you're better off with a squid pole. And for adults, you soon learn that a kite blowing along the ground goes faster than you can run to catch up. 